Oh, you're Tanya. There you go. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Laura has to be on camera today. Something he clearly hates. Yep. <laughs> We're over here at Torque Automotive with Bora, and uh, we're getting the motor together, as we talked about earlier. Yeah, um, so we're putting the motor on the stand right now. This is the one that he got fresh from, where did we get it from? LKQ. LKQ. Mm -mm -mm. Regular old junkyard motor. What'd they say this one had? Like 130 or something? Yeah. Just take things apart. Yeah, take literally just start taking everything apart. Um, focus on top. Yeah. Top down. Oh yeah, sorry, that one doesn't keep it on. It's well broken in. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's what I'm saying. I, th I, I think she can pull way harder than she can push. I think everybody can. Isn't that kind of a better way to... to uh, I, I always do better if I put something on my, stom on my stomach and I just yank the shit out of it. Right. Sometimes it's hard to watch you guys work. I bet. <laughs> At least I don't, like, I know I don't know what I'm doing. You don't have to do it much for me because you watch for about five minutes and you're like, get the out of the way. <laughs> I think Hayden has that same problem because he'll like grab yeah. stuff and he'll be like, all right. Yeah. Let's just get this That's the problem with people that like do that quickly. I mean, but I'm the same way. If somebody's doing computer shit, I'm like, no, 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 go there. No, not that there. The other there. <laughs> <laughs> You're all the right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He grabbed yeah. the other. Uh, some, some, some help. Well, then I pulled them all up, but then they tighten. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, the gasket's coming with you. There you go. Mmm, look at that. Woo! There you go. My mom's gonna be so happy when she sees this video because you're wearing her shirt. Oh, I know. <laughs> I dirty it. I don't know what we're gonna do. So, Bora, you think we get? You know how you put like the like the playing cards on the bicycles so that they click? Yeah. Maybe we could put one on the crank pulley on this one because it's not gonna be ticking from the lifters. We'll just put like a little card right here, and I'll just slap on the fucking water pump. <laughs> <laughs> It'll sound like a tick. <laughs> They used to do with the bike. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So something's got to sound wrong with it, otherwise, we'll be screwed. So, while Tony's taking off that other head for us over here, disassembling this head, because we got to change out the valve springs. One of the few things that we're doing to these motors. I don't even think, do you really think that we actually need to though? Like for what we do, we only spin it to like 68 at the highest. 
And we don't have a gnarly cam, it's a stock L33 cam, which has like the lowest lift out of all of the, yeah, technically. I still don't know if it would be bad. Basically what I'm saying is this is kind of overkill for what we're doing, but I'd rather not float a valve. That's a stupid mistake that sucks. That causes a shit ton of damage. So we did that in the truck, so we're gonna do it in this one. All right, I got the second head off. Kev helped. Got a decent amount of buildup on these uglies. Let me take that gasket off too. Why does everybody use the LS9 ones then if the original ones are multi-layer? <laughs> Maybe less overhang? This is a bigger bore. Okay, take off the water pump. Yep, yep, water pump is gonna be these bolts. Tense. There's a couple all around. No, you don't have to take this off. Oh, no, uh, yeah, tense. yeah, tense. I wonder if at this point there's gonna be a bunch of people that are just like, well, I thought it was stock motor. Like, why are you taking so many things off of it? You got a perfect stock motor. Yeah. I was gonna say, now you take a video where you actually did it, so people say, uh, Yeah. Well, it'll be stock bottom end. We sure as hell are not touching shit with the bottom end. Yeah. Those pistons will stay exactly as grumpy as they are. Uh, Dirty as shit. Our stock Honda, all motor build, it's still all stock Honda components. <laughs> yeah. Just a different combination of like CTR and <laughs> GSR shit. Well, LS. Yep. You might need the big bend for that one. Yeah. Yeah. So I gotta break it loose first so you can just put it in. Huh? Can you hold it? No, I just hit it. Right. Mm, hang on. Do you have a name for it? A motivator. <laughs> <laughs> Motivate them bolts on out. Holy shit, that thing is giant. Oh my god. That's the other way to do it, like that strap wrench and a breaker bar, but that seems like more fun. This motivates pretty nice. Oh my lord. Nice. Quick work of that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I got the very, very end. Um you have to pull the pan off, and then pull that off so you get the pickup tool up. Okay. So straighten the motor out, and then... Alright, got all of them. It's hammering over there. Did it get angry? Smells like poo. I said poo. Uh, did that oil pan come with new tray or just pickup? I didn't open it up. Okay. Just that oil pan, but that box didn't look too bad. Like... Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it came with. So we'll open up that box and see how much of this stuff we have to replace. I know obviously the sump is going to be different, so um, okay. it comes with a new sump. Or, uh, pick we up need two. the screws too, right? I left the screws on the outside, or did they come up with the screws? Screen looks decent. It's got a weird sludge thing in there, but I don't see big chunks or nothing, so should be healthy. Little rod knock never hurt anybody. Woo! Not a whole lot of you. Yeah. Do what we gotta do. Let's see what's in this poly oil pan. Box. Oh, yeah, it does come with another piece of tray. Uh, what we got? A piece of tray here. A new pickup tube. Much shorter. Don't bend it. Oh no, I bent it. Oh no! Now, check it out. Oh. Seal of approval. Yeah. So. It's expensive. I mean, a little bit expensive. 
but it's it's worth quite a bit. So that helps us out with our ground clearance. So we're able to put the motor kind of where we want it as far as um, distance, distance uh, the crank center line. But we won't be like millimeters from the ground thanks to this much shallower oil pan. All right, so we got the front cover off now. We are going to change the oil pump on this one. The the truck motor has not that great oil pressure. I think the highest it goes is like 48 psi. Um, then that's like 6,500 like during the pull. So, and it might have something to do with why the lifters uh, tick so much in the truck. So those two things were learning our lesson from the truck and doing new new lifters and new oil pump. So, Tanya was sitting there trying to get this tube out and didn't realize she didn't uh, take one of the, the nuts out up there. Hey man. <laughs> Don't lose parts in the motor. Cut yourself already? Of course. No, that's burning yesterday. Make oh. breakfast. <laughs> breakfast is a dangerous game. <laughs> oh, Alright, so we got the new oil pump on. Sorry, there's a loud ass parts parts washer behind us. Um, so there's gonna be a bunch of background noise, but. Uh, got the new oil pump on, put the front cover back on. Probably gonna wanna clean that up a little bit later on. It's kinda ugly. Alright, goes, why do you keep using that small wrench? I told you to grab the big one. <laughs> That's how you do leverage muscles. Yeah. Okay, yeah, take those off and then I'll put the other ones in oil. Precision block sanding. Just a mess. It worked on the truck. I have no fear. I remember being sketched out about it at first. You're like, wait. I was a little sketched out about it, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then again, we were comfortable because I was like, well, it only has to last a little bit. And here it is two years later. Two years later. Is that other side ready? Should be. So our attempt at verifying that it's flat is just running that block sander across it real quick. It'll be, it'll be good. We're temporarily defeated by the head, unfortunately. Or I tried like six different things to get that bolt out. And uh, it's just not happening and kept getting worse. So we are going to uh, kind of bail on these temporarily. I have that other set of heads at home, so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get these heads to be fixed before Friday. If we can't, then we're just gonna bail and use the good heads that I have at home. So, worst case scenario is still pretty good. We get to put a set of ported heads on there, and uh, they'll be they should make more power. So power won't be a problem. Uh, it's just a damn shame that we couldn't get those out of there. So hopefully we can get them fixed and at least have them set aside for spare heads for the truck or something. Um, or we can sell them, I don't know. So, we shall see. Um, Machine surface day. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Machined enough. Flat enough. I ain't having any head gasket problems with the truck. Probably six, uh, probably about 7,000 miles on it and probably 450 hits. So, work for that one, works for this one. We got the new lifters in there already, put the covers back on. Um, I think we're just waiting for the oil pan to get cleaned in there, but this is pretty much as far as we're gonna go right now. I think, right? Do we have anything else that we can do, or is that pretty much it? Just sand that other side, and then we gotta wait for the head situation to, to come through. So, uh, can't put the oil pan on because we gotta weld the bung in there, so we're probably gonna put that pan on there. Yeah, just to keep it out and put a bag over it and then wait until next weekend. So, uh, or, well, if you're watching this video, then tonight the live session will be back here and we'll be finishing up buttoning up this motor. 
yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, do all that stuff. We will see you in a little bit tonight.